it's time. It is time. Sun's just breaking the horizon. We got big arches all over the sounder here. Proper red ones. Let's go. What's that? Oh, fish on. Yeah. Yeah, it just got a few taps as I started moving it and then kabam. I, I thought it was a I thought it was that bird wrapped up in my line because he looked like he was in there as well, but I'm in as well, Scott. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that's unbelievable, eh? Because that's so lucky. You just had that big tangle. Yeah. If it had been like two minutes ago, I you would have been in trouble. Well, no. How's that? So Jack and I came out here. We've been out here for like well over an hour. <laughs> I don't know why we came out here so early this morning. We know it doesn't happen in the dark, but we're here anyway. It's been dead. Nothing. Oh, you got a little pinky? Yeah. A little pinky. This one's a decent one, I think. Yeah, yours looks a lot better than mine. And the sound has been absolutely lit with fish, but just nothing, nothing biting. But we've had big red arches and the whole lot, like everything's looked perfect. And it's not till just now when the sun's just started to break the horizon and kaboom. I'm fishing with my, I'm fishing with the light gear again, the 15 pound and a 20 pound leader. So I'm not going to go too hard on it. It feels like it's decent. I think it'll be sized. I'd like to hope so, because I want to eat. Oh, he might be just under. Oh, actually I will, mate, because this lead is pretty light, eh? I just don't want to risk it. Thanks. Well, he might just oh, go, away. Eh? He might be just perfect eating size. Scotty is in. You! Good fish, man. Chuffed. Quickly whack a bait out. Yeah, do it. The little shiner right there in the corner. It's a really thin gauge, this hook. Really thin gauge. If I was fishing heavier gear, I probably wouldn't go for a gauge that thin. Probably see it better there, I guess. Yeah, on heavier gear, I probably wouldn't go for a gauge that thin, but on the light gear, it's ideal. And this guy here is... Oh, come on, mate, let's play. 54, 54 centimeters. He's dinner. Perfect eater, eh? Yeah, that's a good size. Oh, I've got a Shinto on my finger now. Ow. There's no doubt, no doubt about the sharpness of these doggies. All right, let's get on, because I reckon there's bigger to come. Because some of those arches we've been seeing all morning on the sounder, there's been some solid fish hanging around. There you go. He's just a perfect little eating size fish. Okay, perfect meal size. So I could almost bake him whole. Might try to bake him whole in the pizza oven or something yeah, like that. That'd be, that'd be awesome. really cool. Just do it. Sweet. Hectic. Oh, look at the sound again, lit. You can see where we are here, We're just right on the back of a little bummy, another one of these little inshore bummies. We parked right on the back of it. In front of us there is like six and five meters on a bummy just in front of us here, and we're like right on the back edge. Look how far, we're only like 500 meters off the beach. We decided to tuck in close today. We've been going wide the last, I don't know, for the last few months, and the snapper just haven't been happening. No, they haven't. But everyone's been catching them online and that I'm seeing them and everyone seems to be catching them so we decided we're going to stay close to the beach today and just do the inshore thing we haven't been doing it as much as we've used to so we figured we'd stay inshore today and see how it goes we really want to catch a big one I just haven't seen a big snapper for a couple of months so let's see what happens but it is a bit lumpy today anyway I'm kind of glad we didn't go wide because I don't think it would have been too nice out there it's not too nice here but it's manageable have a look at this dirty burly mix that Jack's got going on out the back here. <laughs> She's pretty filthy. 
<laughs> What'd you say that was? Thirty six bucks. Thirty six dollars. Thirty six dollars <laughs> worth of muleys, pellets, pasta, rice. It's a whole combination. Plus, I've got my normal burly pot going on the back here. We've got half a tuna in there. There is no shortage of burly this morning. Hopefully, there's no shortage of fish because now is the prime time. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen in the next 10 20 minutes, I reckon. At least you've still got one in the game, eh? Yeah, you can use this one if you want. This one's ready to go. Bring that in and I'll whack this one outside for you. Yeah, yeah you're in the game. Get rid of all the spine. Start again. Pump the brakes. Oh, that's a mess. <laughs> I've just cut one of my lines and I think I accidentally cut the other line as well. Jack's just got a big tangle between two rods. That's the hazards of fishing two rods yeah, I'm in the dark when you can't really see where your line's going. You've got a big tangle. Full of regret I am. Right, yeah. now. <laughs> right at like prime bite time as well as the sun's just coming. Luckily I had another one already rigged up so I've got that out in the corner here. So Jack's still in the game while he re-rigs all this other stuff anyway. <laughs> All that prep work last night. Yeah, <laughs> spent time. hours tying hooks and stuff on last night for nothing. And I think I lied too. I'm using, they're actually Gamagatsu shiners. I think I called them Shintos before. They're Gamagatsu shiners. I'm actually really liking these hooks. They're working really well. Again, they're quite a thin gauge, but the last time I used them, they got heaps of hookups and they're working. I'm kind of happy. I think the thin gauge gets really good penetration. Oh, look at the sounder yeah, yeah, again, yeah. man. It's just so lit with fish. I'll get it. Oh, hang on. What's this? Fish on. Oh, no, it dropped. Oh! oh. Damn. Oh, I feel like that was a half decent fish, eh? Hey? What happened there? Surely my little gamma gas didn't let me down. Oh, off. Everything's gone. No, nah, my leader's still there. Oh, wow, the leader's all. Ch Look at that. Oh, far out. That's all chafed. That was something with teeth, mate. Right down the side of wow. That was something toothy. Oh, hang on. What's that? That's not Mr. Flappy Boy, is it? No, it seems a bit weird. A bit of a slow bite, wasn't it? You've been asking for the big flappy boy all morning. <laughs> something there. Oh, is it snaggied? Snaggy boost. Oh. No, there's something on there. <laughs> Surely I didn't get that You've been asking for it. <laughs> that big mullet bait you stuck out before. Is my heat cam on? I say on. Yeah. I've been joking about catching a stingray all morning. Looked a bit like a weird sort yeah. of sluggish tank off. It there. was a real stingray sort of bite, wasn't it? Nah, the more it keeps doing those runs, yeah. the more it's saying I'm not a snapper. I've just gone pretty tight on it to try and get this over and done with as quick as possible. While it's I can't believe after 
crack talk, I actually got one. <laughs> <laughs> Like I made that you haven't been catching them for a while though. Um, but it's always these inshore spots where you end up getting them, isn't it? I can never work out the difference why you get them and I don't seem to, eh? It's like it's the snails. Like when, it's, it's something to do with the snails, I don't yeah. know why. Because we fish the same baits, everything's the same. You except for the snail. Way. The snail's the only difference. So is it just that extra bit of weight from the snell that makes it sink more or sit on the bottom differently? Because I never seem to get them. Yeah, it's a stingray. What's going on there? Is that your bait? Is it? Oh yeah, that's oh, mine as well. It's all... Oh. <laughs> Jacked! <laughs> I'm having a shocker this morning, eh? You are having one of those days this morning, eh? Oh, here, here we go. I was just changing the GoPro battery and I said to Jack, now's when it's going to happen. And now's when it happened. Sure enough, hey. What is this? Yeah, I don't know, it's a weird one. That's weird. So this was a half mealy. I basically just dropped down because I didn't want it tangled up my other line. So I basically just dropped it straight underneath the boat. Exactly what Jack just hooked a Jewfish doing the same same thing. Yours is still good. What is this? Oh, I'm starting to feel like it might be Samson fishish. Oh, it's got those big head. Yeah, it does, man. It's bouncing. <laughs> All morning we've been seeing like big arches underneath the boat. Been seeing big arches under the boat and just wondering what they were. Big red arches on the sounder. We just knew they were good fish, but they're just not committing. I love this sort of fishing. Look how far from the beach we are. Like dead set, we're 500 meters off the beach. The beach is right this there. This is just amazing. I love this kind of fishing, eh? It's just so dynamic. Stuff actually happens. Oh, I don't like him going in that direction because no. that's where the reef is. The dirty burly muck's starting to do its thing, eh? It's been a while, but I think you might yeah. be right. I reckon this guy. Went far enough to get involved with that other line I got there as well. This oh, is going to be another stuck of that. This is yeah, going to be yeah. another tangle boy. Oh, where's he going now? You're yeah, in trouble here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> no, that's all right. Undermine over the cameras. He's got you moving. He's got me dancing. <laughs> Samson fish, eh? Yeah, for sure, I think. Let's go on the old, let's go to the anchor rope technique. Samson fish special. Come away from there, dude. Why would you go there? <laughs> Stretched. <laughs> oh, he has to go under the boat and over there. Oh. Do you want me to try trim it up a bit or? <laughs> Entertainment at its finest. What hook was on this one? Uh, this is the big red. Big red. He's right under the boat. I don't want to go around the airport because I'm worried I'm going to hook that. I'm just trying to keep him clear at the bottom of the boat. Oh, yeah, there's all there's my other line. Other <laughs> I knew my other line was part of that, eh? Oh, that's messy. Disastrous. It's been one of those mornings for tangles, though, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I can't believe how many tangles we've, we've had. We've had a lot of tangles this oh, morning. Oh, I'm in two now, I think. Or am I part of it? You could be part of this as well. <laughs> And here we go again because we both fish them two rods with the same eh? colour, same colour line and two rods each. Nah, I'm definitely in there. We've made a 
Jack and I decided this morning that fishing the same colour line on both rods is a really bad idea. Because when they get tangled, you just can't. Look at all the spaghetti, man. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, Mr. Hart, what a mess. <laughs> oh, stop running fish. Just come here now. I just want to sort out this mess. Uh, shall I start trying to wind my one to get it out of the way? or? Oh, you can if you want. Are you going to be a help I don't you? know. Oh. No, this is messy, eh? Hey? Oh yeah, I'm, I've definitely got a fish on. This is a decent fish, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. it's a Samson fish, let's face it. I feel like it's a decent one, it's not it's like one of those small one, ones. <laughs> if it was a small one, I would have had it by now. Man, what an absolute... Uh, Mess. You're five minutes in on this fish right now. I don't feel like he's finished, do nah, you? Nah, like I reckon he's quite a big one, eh? Yeah, I reckon he's got some size on him. I just wish you'd come away from the front of the boat like that. I don't know why they always have to do that. Yeah. Clever fish. <laughs> Just go to the most awkward place to right underneath the, oh. of the boat to the anchor rope. Or not come out of there. My rod's on, eh? Hey. Oh. oh, this is chaos. This is. You got no mount to put your GoPro in. Oh my god. I can't even get my rod out of the holder. Hold that for one sec. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. I don't know what to do here. No, nah, not at This I. is chaotic. Or am I? Fish on. Oh no! Oh, man, <laughs> I can't film. Pass me. I'll grab your camera. Your fish must be nearly done. Oh, they... oh he's there. You see him? Yeah, he's around the anchor rope. Oh, he got himself. Oh, he's big, man. He's real big. Yes. <laughs> G, man. Okay. Oh, you, can you lift him? Mike? Yeah, I got him. Oh, he's heavy. <laughs> he's heavy as anyway. That's a big Crikey. Look at the spaghetti, oh. mate. He has my. Wow. Yeah. That's solid, man. He made a mess of himself, mate. What a... He fairly gave it to me. Yeah, he's around the anchor rope, under the boat. Tangled up four different lines. He's really made a mess, but anyway, awesome fish. Absolute animal, way. Solid. Oh, he'll go back to the edge, I reckon. Yeah, he's gone. See you, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> We're just in the middle of trying to untangle. Like, there's line and everything's tangled up, and now Jack's rod's just gone screaming. Man, that's quite disastrous. This is hectic, man. We're right in the middle of trying to sort everything out because there's four rods tangled up after that Samson fish. What's this fish doing? He's coming out. And then Jack's fish just goes, Jack's rod just goes what squealing. That's another Samson, is it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's moving, dude. That's fast, man. I'm not sure that is a Samson. That's really moving. Oh, he just pinged me. <laughs> I yeah. reckon that might not have been a Samson, eh? Oh, I don't know what that was. That was absolutely flying. Wow. <laughs> so much line on the floor of the boat. <laughs> Look at this, there's line all over the floor of the boat. I think Jack's re-rigged. How many times have you re-rigged? Oh, I've lost count. I, I reckon you've re-rigged five or six times. I can't believe it. Even I've on... re-rigged three, I think, three, four times. Look at the line, the whole boat is just yeah, littered with like, I've got a line. And... Look at that, I've got that there. Oh, you got more. And, and my bag. <laughs> That's, that's crazy, oh. man. <laughs> that is so much line. That's hectic, eh? On. It's been one of those mornings, eh? I don't know. It's just been weird. Very 
and still the snapper elude us like far out where are the big snapper we've been trying and trying and trying and the big snapper just do not want to play i got one to eat no worries but we want the big ones we just don't know where they are normally this time of the year is big snapper time of the year and we'd be getting into the 80s and the 90s but we can't find them but we're having fun all the same nothing like a good sambo to mess you around and uh yeah certainly test your not strength <clears throat> and that was on uh that's only 20 pound braid i'm fishing on that reel too 20 pound braid with a 30 pound leader so it's a land fish that big on light line like that in shallow water like this it just shows you if you just take your time and don't try to push too hard you can do it that guy was around the anchor rope and everything at one stage well, the big snapper is still eluding us. I don't know where they've gone. We've been looking everywhere for them and we just can't seem to find the big ones. But we got a feed, so I'm not unhappy. And that sambo was just absolute chaos. So we've had a good morning. We're out of here. I'm gonna stick with those, um, sh uh, bleh. no, the shine hooks, I'm finished with them. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with the shiner hooks. They're working really well, but um, I've given them two, three good runs now. So next time out, I'll use a different hook and move on to something else and see how we go. But until then, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget, check out Jack's channel. There's a link down below um, in the description there. And thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next episode. Yo!